week's program, I hear from a couple whose Christian call to start a new church led them from London to Birmingham. The overriding sense that we had is that we were called to be here. We just sensed that there was a God opportunity here and we were ready to run with it. Laura Wright meets the sisters born as conjoined twins who, 20 years ago, survived life-changing surgery. I feel like God's really helped me to accept that this is my life and that this is my story to tell, to empower others. And we hear how a Christian jeweler is sharing her skills and her faith with the next generation of creators. Birmingham has a long history of industry and it's sometimes referred to as the city of a thousand trades. One place where that's still going strong is the world famous jewellery quarter. In the late 18th century, this area of less than a square mile was home to hundreds of jewellery manufacturers. But it wasn't until the 1970s that its doors opened to the public to buy direct and scores of shop fronts appeared. Today, the quarter still accounts for nearly half of all the jewellery created in the UK. One maker who's been creating jewellery here for over 20 years is Christian Norma Jean Murain. So my designs are inspired by the Bible, a design with a little gold seed on a silver leaf, and that's based on the verse, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you'll say to the mountain, move and it will, and nothing will be impossible for you. And I do one with the, uh, the two fish and the five loaves, which I think is a, a very powerful story. I often pray about my work and ask God to just give me more creativity, more visions, more dreams, because I want everything that I make to reflect God's glory. During the pandemic, Norma began thinking about how she could pass on her skills to a new generation of jewellery makers. We're going to start with a length of silver wire. Inspired by her faith, in March 2021, Norma created the Masterpiece Academy. So what we do here at the Academy is teaching young people the traditional skills of jewellery making, it's like saw piercing and filing and soldering and polishing, as well as the creativity. The jewellery quarter is like a very well-known place, a respected place, so to learn in a place like this is a really great opportunity. My mum was a great person, you know, she's taught me quite a lot of things, a lot of new skills I've learnt from her. I'm glad that I'm a jeweller now and that I've been given the chance to take up this opportunity. Whatever God gives us, you know, whatever gift we have, we're meant to, to serve others and to share as much as possible. So starting Masterpiece Academy has just been a huge privilege. I'm just, yeah, I just give God thanks. <laughs> and before we sing our final hymn from another local church, St. Germain's, those we've met today will lead us in prayer. Father God, thank you for your faithfulness. And your love. Through all generations. Jesus, Saviour, we place our lives in your hands and follow your call. Holy Spirit, breath of life, bring us hope and joy. And may the Lord bless us and keep us and make his face shine upon us. In the name of Jesus, amen.